Here is a very nice picture of a heart. You could see the left ventricle and its very thick wall. You could see the septum. You could see the right ventricle. You could see the left atrium. You could see the right atrium. It's one of the nicest dissections of the hearts that I've seen. Notice that it's not normal. Notice how thick the left ventricle and uh, left ventricle and septum is, and even the uh, myocardium in the right ventricle is thicker than it should be. Normally, this should only be about four millimeters. Normally, this shouldn't be more than about 1.5. There's no ruler here, but this is a very thick, bulky uh, myocardium that's been cut very nicely and nice enough to where you could see that it is not uniform. You have some rather brownish areas uh, looking like a myocardium should be, but in addition, you have yell more yellowish areas as well. I wonder why is that? Here is the microscopic of uh, any parts of that myocardium and offhand it may not look terribly terribly abnormal when you look at it like this. When you blow it up however you could see uh, yes indeedy these are probably uh, myocardial fibers because you could see some remnants of striations. You could see that the nuclei are centrally located. But look, you have a whole bunch of material between and surrounding the cells, as well as in areas that are much larger, which is pink, which is either finely granular or glassy. This is uh, a hyalinized material. Uh, that's all we could really say from a, a regular old H&E view. But if you were to stain this with the Congo red stain and then polarize it, you would see a very green, apple green birefringence. This is the diagnostic pattern for amyloid. Uh, there may be possibly more amyloid in this myocardium than there is muscle because all of this is amyloid all of the stuff at the bottom is amyloid. Perhaps there's some nice uh, fibers here, but there's amyloid between virtually every one of them. This is cardiac amyloidosis. Amyloid can fill up any organ, and it co could cause any organ to have damage if there's enough of it in there. Amyloid is uh, deposits of immune protein which build up over the years for various reasons. Amyloidosis of the heart in enough quantities can cause a heart to fail and can cause arrhythmias. That's all that I want to say. Thank you very much.